Hi, I'm Kate Richberg, Director of Education here at Beeducation.com, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about some soldering services. The difference between using a kiln brick and a charcoal block, what they're best used for, and which one you should pick. Here's the kiln brick a terrific surface for soldering. Now this is great if you're a beginning solderer. The kiln brick comes in a pretty large brick, so if you feel like you want to cut it down, you can with a, a simple jeweler saw. You can cut this to any size that you'd like. But this large size is a great surface for soldering. The kiln brick is also pretty light. It's not really heavy. It's a perfect surface for fusing since it's a nice unbroken surface. And you can also carve into the surface of this kiln brick if you need to hold things steady. Here's a close up of a kiln brick that's been cut down and started to be used and well loved. You can see there's some surface where we've uh, it's a little discoloration where we've done some soldering, and there's some little places that we've carved right into the brick to hold pieces in place. Here's the charcoal block. It's a little more of an advanced soldering surface. So the way the charcoal block works is it's a little fragile, a little more fragile than that durable kiln brick that I just showed you. So in order to keep the charcoal block from splitting apart when it's heated, the first thing you want to do when you get it is just get some steel binding wire and bind it around the outside. That's going to help keep this charcoal block together. The surface of the charcoal block is ideal for soldering. The charcoal creates a reducing atmosphere at the surface, so it's really ideal for soldering. It makes for a nice hot flame, and it also helps to reduce the oxidation or fire scale of your metal as you're soldering. The charcoal block also gets hot because, you know, it is wood, it's just charcoal now. So it will get really, really hot. It does help to make your torch work all that much better because it grabs the heat, reflects it back onto the piece. So let's say that you're using a torch that might have a little bit smaller of a flame. It's going to help that torch work a little bit better and a little bit faster. Both the charcoal block and the kiln brick are great surfaces for annealing your metal as well.